Hey, good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are around the world. Thanks for joining Monday Mindshare. I wanted to just share on one topic today, and that is about our heart rate variability as a proxy or as a measure for our recovery. And uh, some of the things that can actually disturb that and or improve it. And uh, it's been a really observations experimental for me to understand this, but then have dived into some of the uh, research around this. And then more recently, uh, myself and some ambassadors have uh, done some testing with their own uh, HRV data. Big call out today for those athletes up in Oregon uh, on the 70.3 on the course right now. And also uh, we've got a few there in uh, Lake Placid on the full Ironman course right now, uh, getting that done. So all the best for your day uh, racing. So uh, as I said, this topic is really interesting. I think uh, people generally are well aware, of course, of the chronic use of say alcohol and the effect that has on the body over time. But what about the single drink? A single drink in the middle of a week, we have trying to balance training with life and we just want to try to uh, calm things down and we, we have a drink and it's obviously fairly common practice. Certainly want to think about this coming into closer to race periods, what's the implications for my heart rate variability. For HRV, obviously it's a measure of that balance between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. And these two parts of the autonomic nervous system are trying to balance themselves all the time relative to the environment that we're in. And usually for athletes and professionals, uh, it's common to see the sympathetic uh, nervous system or the fight or flight response elevated and the parasympathetic, which is meant to relax and to settle us down to help with digestion and things like that is uh, actually compressed or reduced. And uh, there's some really interesting studies and I'll, I'll put this on screen now. Maybe we can uh, take a look at some of those studies before I show you even what our own ambassadors and myself found out as we went and dived uh, into this for ourselves. So two studies here, one on the left is really only a month old, uh, but there's multiple studies on this same subject, but this was just the acute use of ethanol or alcohol intake on how our heart rate variability responds to that. And if you look down in the abstract, just as a summation uh, to keep this simple, the, the summary of it was that um, our findings revealed an increase in sympathetic activity and a reduction of parasympathetic activity under the influence of alcohol uh, administration resulting in autonomic imbalance. Now, this is not what we want, obviously, as we're trying to uh, manage balance between our training and our lifestyle. We want to keep balance between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic that we can recover quickly. We can have quality sleep. We can uh, awake in the morning and turn on our next training session and hit it, uh, not just with passion, but uh, with power. Uh, but obviously, when you can have these things out of balance by taking even a single drink, uh, that's a problem. Uh, I said uh, multiple studies, uh, you can go into uh, the, the net and uh, search them down and see very similar uh, comments made. And certainly, as you get uh, beyond that single drink, it's even more uh, consistent. The studies are calling out the problem with that upregulation of the sympathetic response and the downregulation of the uh, parasympathetic um, nervous system. Now, on the right-hand side here is a study which um, it, it's, there's not many studies on this. And it was a perception that I've had for some time. Uh, my studies in nutritional naturopathic medicine and herbal medicine, uh, we certainly studied a lot about the pharmacology of uh, many, uh, many herbs, many plants. And chamomile is, of course, something that um, has traditionally been used for uh, quality of sleep. Uh, it's not a sedative as such, but really improves the quality uh, of sleep and insomnia. And this particular study looked at what is chamomile uh, as, a, as a pharmacological agent having an effect on your heart rate variability. And again, in the abstract, it calls out that there's a decrease in the heart rate um, and then this uh, ratio we, we read here, the reference of the ratio, which is really that reference of sympathetic uh, nervous activity was greater. Um, 
so a reduction of it, I'm sorry, I should say, um, was greater after drinking chamomile tea. So this is saying that by taking chamomile tea, that heightened sympathetic response can actually be, be brought down. And there's some other references here to some other uh, testing they did, with, which are also uh, reference points or proxies of the parasympathetic and the sympathetic being brought into balance through uh, chamomile tea, which is quite interesting. Well, that's what some of the research says. And I did want to just show though, some work that myself and another ambas ambassador had done. And again, this is just references of two people. So I just want to underline that it's two people, but I thought it was interesting just to see how reproducible this was. On the left-hand side, <coughs> my own data while on vacation of having a single uh alcoholic drink uh each night um you can see there from the tuesday the 22nd in this red box through till that sunday the 27th so just a, sing a single drink um and you can see that my heart rate variability during that time was sitting somewhere between just above 60 and probably somewhere around 45. now for me normally it should be in the 75s, 85s, and 90. That's healthy for me in terms of my heart rate variability. You can see that these were all quite depressed values while I was taking that single drink a night. Now, again, this is while I was on vacation. A lot of the occupational stress is taken off the table. Uh, we were hiking each day with a family, enjoyable time. Uh, but you can see the effect it's having on that heart rate va variability of depressing um, my parasympathetic response and really heightening my sympathetic response. And on the 28th, you see it spike back up there, Monday the 28th, and that was the first day that I stopped alcohol. I took chamomile tea, which I've been a, a, a user of chamomile tea for a long time. I've always had this perception, um, and it's just been perception um, that, it, that it helps my quality of sleep. I wake in a much better uh, frame of mind. Uh, exactly how it's doing that, I'm not sure, but the data that I'm starting to see, and I'll get on to what my ambassador, um, the data that uh, they uh, provided us, they also showed, but it it does seem like it ha is having a balancing effect on the vagal tone or the, the tone between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. So the ambassador data here has taken over um, uh, a week uh, of going on to chamomile tea. Um, and it was just something I had shared with our uh, Facebook ambassador team, uh, racing team on the use of chamomile. And this particular ambassador thought uh, they would try that. And what you can see here is the green that begins to show down the bottom here is, um, you know, a higher um, uh, heart rate variability measure on their particular application. I'm not sure if they're using a watch or a strap, et cetera. Um, but it's higher when they were taking the chamomile tea. And you can see on the 4th of July here, this red box, it comes back down. 4th of July, there was a uh, alcoholic beverage had that night, uh, not surprising in the US. You can see though, it coming back down. Following day, back on the chamomile, no alcohol. It has come back up. They obviously missed a measurement on the 6th. It remained on the chamomile tea then throughout. And you can see that it's coming back in the green here. Again, took another drink on the 10th, same story, compressed down, come back to the chamomile, came back up. So again, this is just two um, particular um, athletes just trying it, but I thought it was interesting to share. And as we think about coming into, uh, we are in race season, and we think about managing optimal uh, recoveries and rest and getting ready for our A races, coming into those in our best possible form, Clearly, um, it would suggest both in research and just some of the uh, personal testing done with now these 24 by 7 heart rate variability monitors, you can see the effect that alcohol can have on upsetting the balance between your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, you can see some of the improvements both in the research and also in just personal testing of what something like chamomile can do each night. Find out for yourself, see what it means to you. But that's what some of the data is showing. I thought it was good to share. All the best. Stay healthy, stay well, go longer. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for joining Monday Mindshare. Talk soon.